part two. Grab him by the pussy. Might as well talk about Captain Crunch and his uh, 300 hookers that he had. Captain Crunch? Yeah, Ca Captain Crunch. Hmm, okay. I don't know who the fuck that is. You know, the serial. Oh, the, oh just the serial character? <laughs> I heard he was a serial rapist. Mm, just like uh, the... Uh, oh, no, the Cookie Chris uh, wolf is... Uh, <laughs> Why is it a wolf? Before it was uh, like a like a robber. You know, like like the hamburger concept? Yeah, yeah, he like he had a dog sidekick. Yeah, kick. he had a little dog sidekick, and the cop would chase him around with a stick. And there was like the policeman and stuff. Yeah, that's what I mean. I think it's because they don't want any more cops and robbers shit. That's fucking stupid, though. That was the whole point. Because the joke about Cookie Crisp is that you're not supposed to eat cookies as as a breakfast. And so it was supposed to be joked about. Yeah. It was mocking itself. Yeah. No, everything is uh, PC and sanitized and let's be friendly and basic bitch. You know? Fuck it. I think they were just trying to rip off the fucking Lucky Charms things. Like, you know, oh, they're after me, Lucky Charms. Yeah. No, everything is um, milk toast and basic bitch. Yeah. Fuck it. Okay, so Davis, uh, he uh, doesn't have a girlfriend. And then... Uh, no, he had a breakup, that's... It's, the breakup, yeah. yes, I'm sorry. You gotta word that properly. <laughs> okay, so, after his breakup, then he started to talk to some other lady called Hyroon. That's not like a dude's name. I know, but, no, she's an actual lady. Hmm. But however, what she is, she's a pagan. So what? Who cares? And she has her own group. Okay. That's cool. And, uh, it's like, then... Basically, Davis joins them. Hmm. And um, if you look it up, they have their own website. It's called thefreefolkdark.org. And it's like, it's basically, you know, if you look at it, a uh, you know, basic glance, it's, you know, it looks like a, you know, regular pagan group and all that. Which, i um, thinking with the whole Catholic versus Protestant thing, what, you know, the word, the word meanings of those two. Hmm. Catholic actually means uh, universal. Um, Davis has told me this, and it actually means that. Okay, good for him. And then, um, then Protestant, well, is you're protesting against something, <laughs> and it's like it's like basically I'm protesting the Catholic Church, and you do it for all your life. You know? I don't know. I still view it as is if it's a religion, they usually believe in something or a lifestyle. Yeah, but however, it's like, oh no, it's like I, I have to protest against this whole main church because it has gone awry. See, see Martin Luther, mm. uh, not King. <laughs> no, I mean to me, it's a little different because even people that are atheists, to me, that's still a lifestyle. Yeah. Or they just don't believe in uh, uh, any deities or Yeah, anything. they should, but then we have the amazing atheist uh, hating God all day. And bananas. And bana having bananas up his ass and having the dance of his people. Yeah, I don't know. It, you know, actually it kind of sucks uh, you know, about the Beckloff that he stopped doing that because it kept getting banned because he was showing the gif of uh, amazing atheist uh, um, showing off his micropenis. That's stupid for him to post that picture to begin with. That kind of makes him a homo for looking up pictures of dicks. Or no dick. offense to him. I know. Being fair, but I mean, it's like, hey, I found the new screenshots for uh, Halo Six and it's that. Oh yeah. <laughs> he he did that as a joke. No, I get it. It sounds funny at first, but realistically speaking, he still has a dick pic. Yeah. It's kind of gay. Yeah. I mean, you have dick pics though. But those are drawn. Those are imaginary, you know? <laughs> I know, and that's like you And you know what? Actually, that's not a bad uh, concept to think think about, too. Because actually, you've noticed that I don't like to commission that shit. I don't know. I don't... It's like... Yeah, it's like... You know, you know that the only times I've ever had anything... With the exception... Only one exception would be the... Um, uh, what the fuck is it called? Like, the, 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 the way that your character is designed? Ref sheet. Uh-huh. That's the only time I said, fuck it, go ahead. Because I was talking to Anuvi about that. And she's like, you know, the, if people are going to fantasize about your character, they're probably going to think it has a dog dick. And I was like, oh, fuck that shit. Then draw me, you know, with, without one of those things. Yeah, uh, yeah, like, fuck it. Uh, yeah, I'd rather have my characters with real dicks instead of, what the fuck is this kind of dick? Yeah, exactly. I was like, no, that sounds disgusting to me. 
But, you know, at the same time, I'm going to admit... Actually, I, I don't like... No, <laughs> I'm not going to admit that shit. Um, what I'm saying is I can respect somebody who draws things to their preference. That's on them. I'm not going to judge people based on that. It's just what they like. I don't like it. That's on them. I'm just going to say it that way. I'm not trying to be fucked up about this. I'm just saying I don't like it. <laughs> it's not my thing. If other people like certain things, that's their own preference. They can fuck with it. Us coyotes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> wow. I'm amazed they're over there instead of on the bike trail. That means that they're residential. That's pretty crazy, huh? Oh, yeah. They're probably over at the park. Because, you know, they're usually around anything a little bit more wilderness, grass, and shit like yeah. that. Whatever. But, anyway, I have to mention about the Hyde Rune and, like, her two um, cohorts and all that stuff. Yeah, go for it. Because, um... Is he still with her? Oh, um, Davis? Yeah. Oh, uh, with that group? Well, he's part of the Free Folk organization. I don't even know what that means. Yeah. So. Is that like Nation of Islam or something? Oh, definitely not. <laughs> In that sense. But, um... I'm just fucking around. So, I'm thinking, let's see. Uh, Davis had, like, kind of recovered from with his girlfriend with, you know, talking to Hyde Rune and all that, and then... All that, and so it's like, she was, like, a frequent, um, guest on, uh, Davis's uh, podcast. No, that sounds reasonable, too, because, I mean, I've, I've had situations where I was, you know... I had I was good friends with a friend or a girl, you know, mm -hmm. something like that. Because you know, I used to have have a, the that the shape chick. Yes, uh, yeah, shape shifty chick. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I, I had her around a lot because she was fun to talk to, and a lot of the times we were actually really close. Mm -hmm. you know? So I figured, you know, what? I'm going to be on here doing that, and even when I wasn't with you guys, usually I was talking to her. Oh. So I figured, you know what? I'm going to talk with my friends. Uh, do you want to come in? I'm just going to give you a heads up. And she would say, oh, no, I'm busy. Okay, cool. No big deal. But the invite was there because she was still my friend. Mm -hmm. So I just leave it at that. Okay. There was one of these streams that, like, um, it was John Steele that was on there. That guy's funny. I know. He's I like funny, him. but he's sometimes he's a little bit confrontational, you know? Oh, he's looking for arguments all the time. Yeah, he, he wants to fight. I know that. But even when I was on talking to him, he was, like, kind of asking me, so what's up with your uh, avatar, huh? Yeah. And I'm like, oh, don't worry, I like chicks. And that was it. Like, And I just kind of just blew it off. Yeah. And oh, okay. And then he kept sneaking in little comments here and there. And I'm like, okay, now he's trying to fuck with me. <laughs> and uh, But he got lucky, too, because I was on a good night where I I was having so much fun. Yeah. It didn't bother me. That's why when I noticed that he does get an argument, he fucked with Beckloff so hardcore about him being like a, like a comic book fan and shit. Yeah. He's like, faggots usually get that kind of stuff. And it's like, dude... <laughs> we're not even talking about comic books, you know. We're talking about like some other shit that was going down, and he's like, "I know, I just, you know, just my opinion." <laughs> and it's like, "Okay, whatever." And I'm like, "I'm, I just, I yeah." Just say uh, anyway, confrontation after a stream was done on live on. Uh, yeah, because we always used to go to the after streams, and um, that they were they were like arguing about Excalibur, uh, like the sword, the uh, the John Borman film. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I, I've seen it once. And they were arguing about it, and essentially, like, Davis, like, kicked off uh, John Steele. Oh, that's kind of weird. But, I mean, it's like, I, I wasn't there. Yeah, I was going to say, it, well, I mean, it, it, sometimes you have to. Dude, even times where I knew that I was in, like, a group chat with somebody I didn't like, I knew that I was going to probably say some shit to them mm -hmm. and disagree with everything they said. Even if they said something right, I'd be like, well, the fuck your opinion anyways. You know? Yeah. And so... And it ruins the whole conversation for everyone else. Yeah. And apparently, at some point, uh, like, one of uh, the cohorts of uh, Hyde Room, uh, like, said, oh, you have to apologize and... Oh, fuck apologies, no. I know, and all that. It's like, what the hell? That's bullshit. And, like, you, you have to do a magic curse, or, you know, because you're also a heathen. Because John Steele's a heathen for some reason. Nah, John Steele's a cool guy. It's just that he does look for fights. Yeah. And I can understand why certain groups and certain people... Like, I mean, Davis would probably be cool with that. It's just that when he used to to, to do, like, the... You know how you have a mediator? Uh -huh. he, he's not good at that. 
Yeah, he's not. I mean, see Jim Gold versus Matt Forney. Yeah. Which, uh, yeah, then there's Jim Gold versus, I mean, versus Matt Forney that happened afterward. That was pretty stupid. Oh, and also, uh, yeah, Jim Gold is a smackhead waste of life. And Ann Sturzinger is is a waste of life as well. Yeah. And was Matt Forney's girlfriend. Well, I mean, I've had times where I had to deal with that bullshit. And... Because I don't, I don't pick sides. Unless somebody's my friend, I'm not going to pick a side. And if that's the scenario, I'll tell everybody right away. I'll be like, hey, listen, this guy's my friend, so I, I think somebody else should should do this. Yeah. And then, like, like you remember Mike? He yeah. used to always argue with people. Yeah. And I'd be like, dude, come on, chill out. You know? Like, kind of like, you know, uh, John Steele, you know? Mm-hmm. It's, a, it's the same thing. I'm not going to tell him not to say shit. Because I find it funny. Mm-hmm. But I know that he's going to go in there and he's going to start shit with somebody. Something is going to fucking happen. Yeah. But when it comes down to it, I just flat out say, I'm not going to do it. Or I'll say, all right, I'll do it. And a lot of the times I piss people off when I do it. Mm-hmm. Because I'll actually tell them to shut the fuck up. Yeah. I'll be like, all right, dude, listen. Let him finish saying what he's saying to explain his side. Mm-hmm. I told you, I don't I don't pull that, that Sargon shit. Yeah. Where he wants to pause the video every fucking, like, two seconds. Oh, yeah, which, uh, by the way, Pastor Tom and the uh, three uh, Protestants, they did a, uh, a Sargon on uh, Davis. Uh, whatever. Yeah, but... That's gay. I know, it's pretty fucking gay, but I mean... Um, uh, let's... Let me move on from that. It's like, after the Jim Gold versus Matt Forney, uh, then Davis's channel gets shut down. Yeah, that was bullshit. And then... There was no attempts for, let's say, uh, oh, Beckloff, or like, hey, hey, I'm the Beckloff. Let's invite David Serini and, you know, yeah. have him as a guest because he's lost his channel, everyone. Right. Ethan Ralph lost his fucking channel, and a lot of people turned their back on him. Yeah. But look at him now. He's doing way more better than a lot of these motherfuckers out there. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's that. Um, yeah. But in terms of Davis, like, the only time, you know person that ever give him gave uh davis like you know oh we have a guest davis arini and he's lost his channel we'll have him as a guest was a writer named uh, leslie soul like a woman yeah a woman yes oh, okay. and she kind of looks like a lesbian but whatever. that's that's whatever but no it's like it was hide rune of course but however i didn't i did not see ever at one point matt forney invites davis arini wait Forney didn't? Yeah, he did not. Oh, shit. It's, well, maybe he had plans to do other shit. Yeah, I, I, it could be that. I mean, obviously. I mean, I'm mean, i pretty sure they're cool with each other, though. They're not. Really? They're not, because I have to still tell the story. Oh, fuck. And it's really... And then Beckloff, like, months on later, which eventually I did unsubscribe from him because it's like I got you tired. You unsubscribed to Forney? Oh, uh, no. Beckloff. Oh, Beckloff, yeah. And it's like basically it was uh, like every other sh- like every stream was basically shitting on the Catholic Church and Davis Arini. Why? Because of I mean, if he said it about the Catholic Church, I would understand. But if he's shitting on Davis, dude, he deserves Davis to, to retaliate. Yeah, and that's what has um, happened uh, last Friday. That so this is only recent shit. Yeah, this is very recent, uh, because, you know, since, he, um, yeah, you, you probably don't pay attention to Davis that much, because it, it's like, oh, he's... YouTube's gone, dude. Yeah, it, it's like, it was more convenient, and, like, the Twitch, I think he, like, he can't... He's a Twitch streamer now? He's on Twitch. He should Yay. just, he should just, uh, just go on to... Stream me. Or, no, he should just make another YouTube. Yeah, or that. No, because if if they figure out he's he's coming back from a ban or suspension, they can delete the channel right away. Yeah, well, like just not. Um... You know, this is the thing that pisses me off the most is because Davis paid money to have like the 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 way that the you click on his page and there's artwork and there's his own theme song and all that shit. He put money into this shit. Yeah. You know, look at fucking Beckloff. He has a picture of a fucking Pokemon. Uh huh. That's nothing. That's some fucking retarded Photoshop bullshit. Uh-huh. I'm not. I'm not shitting on him when I'm saying this either. I'm just saying that he didn't put a lot of effort into that. Yeah, it's like here's my garbage. No, like literally, like, it take you could, 
You could teach a fucking retarded child to turn on a computer by hitting the power button and say, here's MS Paint, fuck around with it. Mm -hmm. And they could come up with a better icon than that shit. Mm -hmm. Oh, the, the cartoon gun one? No, no, the bubble star one. Oh, yeah, that was drawn by Artistic Layman. Really? Yeah, it was. Autistic Layman? Yeah, Autistic Layman. Yeah, I was going to say that. I think he's, yeah, you originally said that inappropriately. <laughs> but no, um, I don't know if it was every other stream, but it's like, if you remember it enough times that he's done it, he t keeps on talking about it, it's like, fuck this. Yeah. What the fuck, dude? They, you do realize that nobody would have heard of Beckloff. If it wasn't for the other guys, too. Yeah, it's like, yeah, he was just a writer for Rex. And I'm not going to say that he couldn't have done it. I'm just going to say that it came a lot quicker because he was piggybacking on Forney and Davis. Mm -hmm. And same thing with Forney. I wouldn't, I would have never heard of them. Mm -hmm. I would have never heard of fucking um, Matt Forney if it wasn't for Davis. Yeah. And if I didn't hear of Beckloff. Because mm -hmm. I remember they, they all used to stream together and it was pretty chill. Forney was the guy that was. Just out of the loop. Mm -hmm. You know, he said he said a lot of weird racist shit all the time, but I don't know. To me, I actually like Matt Forney. Oh, yeah, I, I, I still cool do. Guy. I mean, you remember that was why I went on their stream because Beckloff was talking shit about Forney and they had this little grudge. And I went on there and I said, dude, Forney is exactly in the right scenario that you're in. I, and I don't mean left or right or anything like that. I mean, specifically, I mean, correct scenario. Because I said, dude, this can happen to you. Mm -hmm. And you're turning around and you're saying you hate this guy and you're talking shit. And that's when, that's, I think that's the reason why John Steele was cool with me at that night. Because we had the same, you know, concept where we were basically like, you know what? This is bullshit. You guys are fucking throwing each other under the bus for no goddamn reason. Mm -hmm. No fucking reason at all. And I fucking said, dude, you're, you got him, you got him wrong. Maybe you got mixed signals or some shit. You're, you're, you're just assuming shit and you're talking down to this guy when he didn't do shit to you. Mm -hmm. And I said specifically, I said, no, he didn't say shit to you and you need to acknowledge that shit because you just bashed him and he has every right to be pissed off at you now. Mm -hmm. So you need to chill out. And then after that, Davis was like, hey man, you know, he's like, hey, thanks for, you know, backing up, you know, for me for that shit. I'm like, oh, don't worry, man. I, I just, you happen to be around. Yeah. I was like, fuck it. From what I've exper well, experience of that, Twitch stream of Davis. Like, oh, yeah, I've never actually watched his Twitch streams. Yeah. And well, I argue with people in his fucking Discord all the time. Yeah. Yeah, um, from the stream that he did on Friday, it's like, fuck it, I'm done with everything. And Wait, Davis said that? Yeah, like, done with... Uh, oh, that friend. group of people. Yeah. The, the th Even the girlfriend? Well, not Hyde Room. No. Oh, okay. Now, where it's like, Basically, he's like, the reason why he wanted, he wanted to try out the group, okay? Yeah. And it's like, he's going to try and see if it, does, if it doesn't work. Oh, well. You know, that's... Maybe we should talk to him. I know, we should. But, I mean, like, this is now. Well, because, like, that's the thing about me, is I joke around about this shit. But you ever notice that I never... Because I consider it too selfish yeah. to, to host your own shit. The thing about him is he's published books. He's fucking well, done documentaries. Well, he's done documentaries. One book. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to be Whatever. Clear. What what I'm saying is that's what he likes to do. I don't like to do that. Mm -hmm. I like to just hang out. That's why you ever notice that I don't pretend that I'm like the leader of the fucking Mickey Mouse Club or some fucking faggotry like that. Yeah, like Richard Spencer. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> that guy is so annoying to listen to. Yeah, and plus he's a gay Satanist for, to, to vote, so... No, that, that makes sense. Uh, no, no, no. That guy, I remember his, wasn't it him and Sargon? That yeah, and Sargon got his ass kicked by Richard Spencer. Yeah, he's like the retard of the internet and he fucking embarrassed Sargon. And now Sargon's the retard of the internet. He just claimed the title. Yeah. But no, no, to be fair, I, I watched, I did watch that one and I thought that Sargon got cut off too much. Because Richard Spencer used like pussy tactics. You like, if you watch that, he's saying, are you, you telling me that you would do this for this and this and this? And it's like, that's Richard Spencer talking. And then Sargon will say, say something and then he'll twist his narrative around. And I was like, wait a minute. This dude who looks like he's like a transgender is totally embarrassing Sargon. <laughs> and in and, and his insults is, is pathetic. 
Right. The insult that he said, you're not as smart as you think you are. Do you realize that children that are five years old can say something like that? Yeah. But they created it as a meme now. Mm-hmm. And, and it was the audience that was doing retard shit. But it's all Sargon's fucking fault because he's fucking stupid. Mm-hmm. And you know what? Fuck this. I'm just going to go ahead and say this about Sargon. Sargon wasn't shit before Gamergate. Mm-hmm. Is he a gamer? No. Fuck no. He's not a gamer. So what the fuck does his opinion mean? Yeah. It means nothing. I could uh, talk about Halo 6. Yeah. I haven't played it. I mean, I've played old video games, but... I, I saw a review about it. Yeah. I read an article that was like fucking half a fucking sentence long, but yeah, I know everything about it. Yeah. He doesn't know what he's talking about. That's his fucking problem. Plus, uh, him being on, like, welfare, social welfare uh, in that country. Wait, is Zargon really on that shit? I think so. I thought he worked at Applebee's. <laughs> no, that's the joke. Yeah. But however, still, it's like... Yeah, he's he's actually said on record that he does not want to work physically. Oh, that's pretty retarded. Yeah, that, that is fucking retarded. You know what you do? <laughs> no, I'm saying you. I, I would work. Yeah, you have a job. Yeah. You work constantly to the point that we barely have time to hang out. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh, it's like, but unlike Sargon, you know, he's totally available. Yeah, yeah, he's a piece of shit. Yeah, he's a piece of shit. Even even Patreon is is so fucking homophobic against Sargon that they said, you know, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, I don't miss Sargon. He's kind of shitty. I never liked him to begin with. I never liked him. I, I, I never liked V. I never liked a bunch of those. Well, guys. you know, V is into furry form. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, because they said they found, like, his website. His his F list. Uh I gotta take you to a titty bar. I don't know about that. You don't like titties? No, I'm I'm talking about, like... I could take you to a gay bar. They could wave their testicles at you. Oh, fuck, (laughs) though. I'm talking about, like... No, it's like, I'd rather... You know what's funny, too, is because I said they... As opposed to, hey, I'm a guy. Like, I'm making fun of guys. Because, you know, when we joke around about, like, you know, women, like, you know, at a titty bar, oh, should they just shave their uh, their cunts and wave their yeah. vaginas at you. It's... <laughs> yeah, they, they shave and wave their bunch of... <laughs> <laughs> their meat flaps. It's like, oh, hey, dude, what are you doing? You know, and she starts dancing in front of you and she starts twerking. And all of a sudden you realize that her fucking cunt lips are so used that you get repulsed by women. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking of in my brain. Because they're doing that twerking shit where their, their cunt flaps are just... <laughs> it's like a golf clap, dude. Tiger Woods just made a fucking putt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. That's what I'm thinking of in my brain is... How many times has that woman been used? <laughs> how many times has that woman or your wood been used? Oh, how many woods have touched this woman? Yeah. And Pinocchio lied. Yeah, and, yeah. Pinocchio's on there on stage, and <laughs> both his woods are going. <laughs> yeah, he don't need strings on him. <laughs> That's a keeper. <laughs> it is. I'm gonna have a cigarette after that one. Oh. Because you finally look, dude. You laughed so <laughs> fucking hard that you turned fucking like, like you look like a fucking white dude working on a field all week. <laughs> oh my god, dude! You turned so fucking red. Oh, I still haven't finished this whole story about Davis. I know, don't worry, this is part three. Yeah, <laughs> it's always part three. Oh, okay. The trifecta, motherfucker!